biggest news at the moment is about returning to work and restarting the economy. For some hauliers, it's been business as usual, but for other businesses with trucks parked up and staff furloughed, the next few days will see vital information announced about your next steps. We'll have full guidance and answers to your questions as the government makes their announcements. Follow us on social media and the Roadway Live app for breaking news. What we're saying to government is that one size doesn't fit all when it comes to safety. That's because lots of firms are operating at full capacity now with very good social distancing and other safety guidelines. So we don't want a heavy handed approach that hampers rather than helps recovery. Staff health, of course, comes first. But for firms who are doing it well now, don't mess with it. Well, some of our members are worried about MOT testing for lorries. They're suspended at the moment, of course, but the fear is that once testing restarts, there'll be a rush of vehicles in need of a test and the system won't be able to cope. And of course, we want vehicles to be tested because it's all about safety on the roads. Uh, but there's also a fear that vehicles off the road will mean that firms won't be able to work properly. Dilemma, and we've got to sort it out with the government. The RHA undertook three surveys throughout April to understand how the COVID-19 crisis affected the haulage industry and to find out exactly what support needs to be offered. We received thousands of responses and want to thank everyone who took part. Here we can see some of our key findings that are affecting you. The average number of inactive trucks per operator is 15. The hardest hit sectors are car transporting and removals, with agriculture and fishing less affected. We asked operators how their cash flow has been affected, and 73% of firms reported their cash flow had been significantly reduced or worse. 15% of operators have applied for the Coronavirus Business Interruption Loan Scheme, while 56% of operators intend to apply for furlough cash through the Coronavirus Job Retention Scheme. When firms were asked how long they expect to survive with the current volume of work, 88% said that they didn't expect their business to survive the effects of the pandemic if their amount of work didn't improve after the economy restarts. The RHA has asked government for support in five key areas to help our industry recover. Announcements in the next few days will be vital in understanding our next steps. Follow RHA social media pages and download the free Roadway Live app for the latest updates.